Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. Time to be crazy again, because I am back with Crazy Joe. I have already made a detailed guide on Crazy Joe. This guide is made for all type of furnace level and troops. I have made another guide on Crazy Joe, which is an advanced level. In the advanced guide, I discussed on zero defense strategy. Zero defense strategy is a higher form of defense, which we use against Crazy Joe. Anyone can use zero defense strategy, but I recommend to use it. If you are strong enough, what we do in zero defense strategy, we make our city empty. We don't use own troops to defend own city. Any alliance member defends us and we send our legion to different ally to defend them. If our own city is empty, we don't make any kills a bandit from Crazy Joe, but our defender kill bandit in this way. City owner gets 100% points and defender gets 50% points. But this strategy has a problem. So in today's video, we will fix the problem. In this video, I will not discuss basics about Crazy Joe, because I have already made video on basics. I will fix the problem which we face when we use zero defense strategy. Let's jump in our video. First we have to understand what problem we face. Suppose you have 5 marching queue or legion. Each legion can take 100k troops. Your total troops capacity equals number of legion times each legion capacity. From this calculation we can see number of legion equals 5. Each legion capacity equals 100k. Total troops capacity equals 500k. Suppose, you have 450k total troops. If you keep 90k troops in each legion, you can make your city empty. In this situation, your defender will get huge points. If he defends your empty city, so we are not facing any problem to use zero defense strategy. But the problem will come now. What will happen if your total troops are 600k? You cannot make your city empty, because we have already seen. Your total troops capacity is 500k. If you send your all legions out, you cannot empty your city. Because you will still have 100k troops in your city. So your defender will not get enough point by defending you. And zero defense strategy will fail here. I just used some numbers, which I imagined. I am giving you my real example. I have 6 legions, my each legion capacity 1 to 7k. So my total troops capacity 127,000 times 6 equals 762,000, but my total troops are 900,000. So I have 900k minus 760 to k equals 138k troops remaining in my city. That means those remaining 138k troops will kill bandits and my defender will not get enough points. So I will fail to use zero defense strategy. What we should do, so we can make score using zero defense strategy in this situation. Before coming to the solution, I want to explain how our troops fight. For any battle, infantry stay in front line, lancers stay in midline and marksmen stay in back line. From this chart, you can see infantry use axe and shield. That means infantry can attack and defend both at same time. Lancer can also defend but they use their own body. For this reason, infantry makes the highest kill of bandit because they can survive long time in battlefield. Lancer makes the second highest kill, because they survive less time, and they cannot get chance to reach bandit because infantry kill most bandit from frontline. Marksmen kill lowest number of bandit, because before they reach bandit, infantry and lancer kill them all. Marksmen can kill, and most of the infantry and lancer get killed by bandit. Pause the video and take a screenshot. You already know, you get points on the basis of kills. The more kill means the more points. Infantry makes highest kill, so they make highest points. Marksmen get very low kills, so they make very little points. Now you have realized what is the solution. The problem of zero defense strategy comes when your total troops exceeds total troops capacity. As example, total troops 800,000 and total troops capacity 700k. That means 100k troops are remaining in city. In that 100k troops, there are infantry who are creating problem for zero defense strategy. The only solution of this problem is 
take out your all infantry using your legions, and keep lancer and marksmen in your city. As infantry are out, troops cannot make kills. Lancer and marksmen will make few kills, that means your defender will get good points and it means you are successfully using zero defense strategy. Normally infantry makes the highest kill, but there is an exception. I am coming to that point soon. First we will check how we can fix zero defense strategy. See, I got zero kill, and my defender got good points. That means zero defense strategy is working. But I have not made my city empty. There are troops in my city. See, I still have troops in my city. But they are only lancer and marksmen. There is no infantry. I have taken out all infantry. So my troops are not making kills, and my defender is getting points. This is the solution of the problem in zero defense strategy. When your total troops exceeds total troops capacity. Now, I will show you some example where I am solving the problem. See, in wave 7, Lancer and Marksman are making zero kill. On the other side, my defender is getting points because his infantry is making the kills. See here, I am working as defender. My infantry is making the kills, my Lancer is making very few kill. Even, the heroes have role here. Alonso is marksman class hero, so he is not using skill, where Smith is infantry class hero, so he is using skill. Though Smith does not have combat type skills, he is fighting. Alonso is marksman class hero, and he is in backline, so he is not getting chance to fight. Sometimes, you can get little kill as a city owner, but it will not create much problem for defender. I already told Lancer and marksman can make kills. So city owner can get kill in some waves. Don't worry, the amount of kill will not be much high. Even, the garrison captain changes automatically. When you fight Crazy Joe, here Alonso is garrison captain. But he cannot stay captain during fight with Crazy Joe. You can make any class hero garrison captain, but it will always change to infantry class hero when you fight with Crazy Joe. See, during fight Smith has become captain, See, I am getting kills, but it is not creating much problem for defender. Here for the first time, you can see Alonso is using skill and he is making kills, it is because sometimes, infantry gets injured. That time marksmen come to secure kills, but this incident is rare. See, this is wave 15, still infantry is making more kills than Lancer, and marksman has zero kill. I already told. Infantry stay in front line, that is the reason. Infantry always get more injured than Lancer and Marksman. This is wave 16, from here you can see. Marksman has started getting kills. Also you can see, Marksman is now getting injured. If Marksman stay in backline and, all infantry are not killed. How Marksman is getting damage from Bandit? The reason is very simple. Till wave 15. Crazy Joe sends T6 and T7 troops. T6 is rare type troops. But from wave 16, Crazy Joe starts sending T7 and T8 troops. Both are epic type troops, which is very powerful. Lancer from T7 starts using Ambusher. This Ambusher attack hit marksman behind infantry. This is the reason, from wave 16, you will see your marksman is getting hit. If T7 and T8 bandits use skill, a question can come. Why our Lancer is untouched? Why Bandit Infantry is not using Bands of Steel to our Lancer? It is right that Bandit Infantry can use Bands of Steel. But Bandit Infantry is busy fighting our infantry, so our Lancer is untouched. I told normally infantry can make highest kills. But there is an exception. This exception comes from Wave 18. In Wave 18, you can see Lancer is making more kills than infantry. How it happens? From wave 18, you will start getting mythic troops in bandit army. Mythic bandit marksmen use the attack volley. This volley attack is lethal to our infantry. Our infantry is already fighting bandit infantry in front line. Moreover bandit marksmen attack is now coming to save themselves from volley. Our infantry use shield in place of axe, so they cannot attack. For this reason, 
infantry gets lesser kill than lancer. Similar incident we can see in wave 19. Wave 18 and wave 19 are the exception, where lancer make more kill than infantry. This is how you can solve your problem of zero defense strategy. If your total troops exceeds the total troops capacity, send out your all infantry and all legion, so you can use zero defense strategy. Because infantry do the highest kill, if your total troops does not exceed total troops capacity. Don't apply this all infantry out method, because in wave 18 and wave 19, infantry cannot make good kill. There is one more way to keep maximum troops outside your city. Go to city bonus and use deployment capacity boost. It will increase troops capacity in each legion, so you can empty your city more easily. Don't use this if you are free to play player, because it costs good amount of gems. Remember, all infantry out method is only for them, who has problem of overflowing troops. If you don't have overflowing troops, don't use this method. I have detailed guide on Crazy Joe Basics. If you have not watched it, check it. I have detailed explanation on zero defense strategy. If you have not watched it, check it. Both link given in pinned comment. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.